folks, I'm Todd Woodruff, and we're here at the Farm Science Review, located here in London, Ohio. What an event. And we stumbled across uh, a dairy exhibit, and uh, I'm here with Rick Rugg. And in the background, you can see the Lely Astronaut. Now, it probably looks very foreign to a lot of you, but this unit right here, from start to finish, is milks your cows. Am I telling it right, Rick? That's pretty close. Okay, now Rick, I'll tell you what, just if you would, walk us through the steps that the astronaut is doing as we're sitting here watching it in the background. All right, first of all, what we do, we start, uh, we're on the inside, so it would be on the, the inside of there, and the back side would be the cow side, and each robot would milk approximately about 60 to 65 cows. And what the cow will do, we have what we call free flow. So you basically want to do three things to a cow every day. She wants to eat, she wants to lay down, and she wants to get milked. And in the robot world, she does those three things when she wants to anytime throughout the 24 hours of a day. So if she decides she wants to get milked or grab a bite of something to eat out of the robot, the robot, it, it opens up, she walks into the robot, and then it closes. It identifies the cow, and then it starts the prepping procedure. So where the brushes will go underneath, clean all four uh, teats, and then when it's done cleaning the four teats, the laser goes underneath, searches for the four teats, attaches all four teat cups to the four teats, and then the cow milks in the process. That usually takes about three and a half to four minutes. When all four teats are done, when it detaches, it then puts a little post spray on it, uh, disinfectant, comes back, goes through a back flush system, the cow is let out, the door opens again for the next cow to come in all on their own. Now, I noticed uh, one thing that the unit did was it didn't take all four teat cups off at the same time. Now, I'm assuming it measures it, and when this quarter is done, it comes off, and, and that has to be very healthy for the udder. Yeah, excellent question. Yes, and very good observing, too. Um, but the, the quarters is quarter detach, so we have uh, individual quarter sensors that detect uh, when the milk flow slows down. So when the milk flow slows down on any particular quarter, it will detach. So we're never over milking a de uh, teat, so that does help as far as utter health is concerned, absolutely. And I would have to guess now, Rick, uh, t you know, in, in today's world, the food industry, uh, you know, tracing it on back, we talk about bacteria, somatic cell counts. That has to be a big plus to this machine, isn't it? Yeah, the two things that we always look at, uh, and, and we got a number, over 9,000 of these out milking cows right now. So what we've observed more than we haven't is that, yes, you will get an increase in production. You're going from two times a day milking up to 2.7 to 3.2 with a robot. So just the increase in frequency is going to get you some more milk. And then the other thing we get is is uh, utter health or somatic cell improvement. Naturally, each cow has her own computer feed tag, which identifies that cow when she walks in. Yeah. Now, is the, f the, the, the measuring of the milk, you determine from the office how much you want her to get fed in a day's time? Yeah, what draws the cow into the robot is feed. So if you're feeding a TMR ration, we're going to change that to a PMR, a partially mixed ration. So we're going to take energy out of that feed bunk and then put it in the form of pellets or some form of grain mix in the robot. And so that cow is going to come into the robot to eat, not to get milk, but to eat. Okay, and then each cow is identified and we have a minimum of three pounds per cow per day up to a maximum of 15 pounds per cow per day. And so if she earns it, she gets it. If she don't earn it, then she only gets three pounds. So it's almost like making a full circle in the dairy industry where we used to feed cows years ago individually and then we went to the TMR rations and now we're making sort of a full circle back and individually feeding the cows again that earn it. Okay, now does the, the computer itself, based off of a cow's production, does the, does the unit itself dictate how much feed she's going to get? Yeah, there's a matrix uh, that we work with your nutritionist and the, and the farmer. We work with those guys to determine how much feed they want each cow to get at a certain stage of her lactation and how much production she's getting. So between the nutritionist and the farmer, they sort of detect that and that's put in this fancy formula and then the robot monitors that throughout the, the lactation. Now, now another thing, if, if a cow comes in and she's scheduled to, let's say we're, we're having her come through 
two and a half times a day. And she, she's a little bit off today. Uh, is that gonna is that gonna flag? Is that gonna come across on the computer and say, hey, this cow might be she might be sick today? Yeah, it, it comes with certain parameters, and uh, the robot has the capabilities of doing a lot of things. And typically, if a cow comes in and she's way off on production, it could be because she's in heat. Well, with the robot, they come with their ID tag, but along with that ID tag is a pedometer. And so it measures her activity. Well, if she's out there being real active, she's going to show up on the heat detection report. Okay. So if that cow's down in production the next day and you sort of look at the heat production uh, report, you sort of know that, well, yeah, it makes sense because she was in heat and pretty active yesterday and she didn't eat as much and she was worried about other things rather than milking. Now, as a rule of thumb, this machine right here, how many head, how many head can this unit milk a day? That's a real, it's sort of a somewhat of a loaded question, but it's a question that's asked often. And I always like to tell people the easy answer is 60 cows. Okay. But if you're looking at an average production of around 70 pounds of milk, 70 to 75 pounds of milk, anything less than that, you can probably get up to 65, 70, 71, 72 cows per day. And if you're at a higher production level of 80, 85, 90, 95 pounds per cow, then you're probably closer to like 58 to 63 cows per day. To me, you know, technology's coming a long way. But I see this, I see this little fat guy clear over here, and he's running back and forth. What the Sam Hill is that? <laughs> That's our Juno. That's, uh, we launched that about two years ago in Europe, and we just brought it into the United States here in the last, uh, about the 12 months now. And what it does, it's an automatic or a robotic feed pusher-upper. So you feed cows down the lane and then you program this uh, robot feed pusher upper and it just pushes feed up to the cows 24 hours a day as often as you want it, however you program it. So it'll, it'll start at one distance from the feed rail and then every time it goes it just keeps on moving in four inches, four inches or however you want to do it so that the cow always has fresh feed in front of her at all times. Once again, less waste, right? Yes. Absolutely. Well, folks, it's it's uh, it's absolutely been a pleasure. And, and Rick, uh, thanks for your information and, and what a good product. Folks, once again, I'm Todd Woodruff and we'll see you down the road. Down the Road is brought to you by Prince Agra, makers of Omnigen cattle feed. Woodruff Enterprises of Springfield, Ohio and Stewart Labs, makers of pain relieving products.